Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Stos Kavasas here, I'm Anthony. I'm Casey. And today we're watching the fifth episode of season two of The Mandalorian. Yes, so last episode we left off kind of with confusion. We have an idea, so we think that Moff Gideon is basically trying to use the Force, manipulate the Force to create this whole army of like Force stormtroopers, yeah. dark troopers. Not exactly sure yet. I don't think it's clarified yet, obviously. Mm. So another theory is that you know, Baby Yoda's force could be what's being used to create Snoke, um, or explain how Snoke, a clone, got mm -hmm. the force. Yeah. I personally was not a huge fan of the return of Palpatine, um, at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it, it would be cool if that was it, because that would explain, like, how, how that even happened, you know? And, you know, like, Snoke, Palpatine were tied together, so like you know, with that you would have to kind of have the confirmation of Palpatine, which I'm just like, eh. yeah. I feel um, like those movies are just a little bit chaotic. Yeah. And like they had to kind of explain some things. They had like a whole bunch of different creative minds making those uh, those films, but um, kind of like what Casey said too. I wasn't a big fan of that. I like to envision that Palpatine was killed by Anakin or yeah. Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. So, um, but. It could be cool to see if, like, maybe, I guess Moff Gideon is maybe working for Palpatine in some form or fashion. Like, um, you know, when maybe he hasn't got all his strength back yet and, like, he's, like, kind of helping assist him in at least making the very first version of Snoke. Yeah. So, if that is Snoke, that would be really interesting that it was Baby Yoda that they used to make that. Uh, I guess it's really troubling times to find some Force-sensitive beings <laughs> yeah. out here. So, <laughs> they're going through everything they can to get him back. I'm really excited about the possibility of getting closer to seeing Ahsoka. Not sure if it's going to happen this episode, if it's going to be something that we build up to, like maybe towards the end of the season, possibly. I hope not, because I really don't want it to just be like, uh, here, look, here's Ahsoka. Yeah. I want to actually go on in some adventures with Ahsoka and see, like, you know, mm. what what her, where she's been. <laughs> like, uh, we're, we're not done with the Clone Wars yet. Yeah, we're we already on season <laughs> six. But we're closing in. We only yeah. got, like, about four episodes left of season six, and then obviously the 12 of season, uh, se season seven. Yeah. Um, but... But really want to know what she's been doing this whole time. Uh, what is her reaction going to be when she sees another like, like baby Yoda, Yoda. <laughs> baby Yoda? Oh yeah. So remember, well, she remember when she took care of uh, the baby Jabba the Hutt, yeah. baby Hut, Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> it's like yeah. she went from one baby to the next. So I've heard that this episode was directed by Dave Filoni, and that's why a lot of people think Ahsoka is going to appear in this one. Not sure. I mean, I haven't looked to see if he actually did direct this one or not, because I just, we like to avoid spoilers yeah. in any way, we'll shape, We'll see at or the form. end when the credits yeah, pop up. So, I don't know. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get into it. All right. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon where we have full-length reactions as well as other exclusive content. The full-length reaction of this season of The Mandalorian as well as our Clone Wars is going to be over there right now. So if you want to check that out, the link's down in the description below. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. <gasps> Cycle, you better get back in your seat. <laughs> He's not going. He doesn't either. want to get in the seat. He just did it. Is he gonna get that ball again? Oh, oh. <laughs> he likes the ball. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. <laughs> Look at him. I feel like he's gonna get mischievous. Well, yeah. He's use the force, or he's gonna. He's gonna use the force. He makes me want to have a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Killed. Last I checked. Are they gonna try and hire him to go after Ahsoka? <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Please do not speak to them or to any of us. Look, I just need to know. <gasps> oh. oh. They get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely gonna want him to take out Ahsoka. What are these? <gasps> are they like? Yeah. Prison. Being punished. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so you can't even move. Oh, it looks all nice here in the center. Um. A Jedi plagues me. I want you to kill her. The Jedi are the ancient enemy of Mandalore. As I said, my price is high. What do you make of this? What is it? Is it Beskar? Beskar. Mm, it's Beskar. Here, it's like that. Beskar. Kill the Jedi, and it's yours. Wow. It's a lot. What is that thing? <laughs> I keep it around for luck. <laughs> False alarm. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> it blocks a lightsaber? Oh! <laughs> Look at look at him! Look at him! I hope it's about him. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Are they talking? <laughs> what are they doing? He's <laughs> like over there. Oh! Do you want a hug? Oh! out inside <laughs> is he speaking do you understand him in a way hmm grogu and i can feel each other's thoughts uh, grogu she, grogu, grogu? Yeah. <gasps> he has a name now grogu <laughs> that's his name He was raised at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. <gasps> Many masters trained him over the years. At the end of the Clone Wars, when the Empire rose to power, he was hidden. By who? Someone took him from the temple. Then his memory becomes dark. <gasps> he seemed lost, alone. I've only known one other being like this. A wise Jedi master named Yoda. I got chills. <gasps> My task was to bring him to a Jedi. The Jedi Order fell a long time ago. So did the Empire, yet it still hunts him. He needs your help. Can he be her Padawan? Oh my gosh! I'll test him in the morning. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just too much. He was at the Jedi Temple. <gasps> Now return the stone to me, Grogu. Aww. I sense much fear in you. <gasps> He's scared. He's hidden his abilities to survive over the years. Oh. All right, kid. Lift the stone. Grogu. Grogu. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get used to have I him know. having a name. Grogu. Oh! <laughs> he loves his Take name. The stone. Try to connect with him. Oh, the ball. Oh, I think like he the loves the ball. <laughs> Good job. Good job, kid. Oh. He's formed mm -hmm. a strong attachment to you. Oh. You cannot train him. What? His attachment to you makes him vulnerable to his fears, his anger. Attachment. I've seen what such feelings can do to a fully trained Jedi. Anakin? Oh my gosh. To the best of us. Oh my gosh. Better to let his abilities fade. The magistrate oh, sent me to kill you. I didn't agree to anything, and I'll help you with your problem if you see to it that Grogu is properly trained. Mm. Mm. Morgan Elspeth. During the Clone Wars, her people were massacred. She survived and let her anger fuel an industry which helped build the Imperial Starfleet. Oh. I feel like that's the Clone Wars we haven't seen yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a Mandalorian and a Jedi? I'll never see it coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit! Hey. Oh my gosh! Mm. 
Your bounty hunter failed. Tell me what I want to know. Oh! Gosh, she's so cool! I love Ahsoka! Execute them. Then go door to door. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh my gosh. I need to like swoop in with his jetpack. I know. <gasps> gonna... oh! There we go! Yes! Yes! He was gonna He's help. gonna help? Are you gonna help? He was gonna try to help from the other two, or those three getting killed. <laughs> I feel like a duel in like a western I right know. now. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> <gasps> oh! Oh, I like when she used to do yeah. that. Sounds like you win. There's a trick. I'm like, don't trust yeah. this guy. Get ready. He's gonna like yeah. lift it up and try and shoot. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, oh. Oh, oh, oh shit! Okay. He's so damn good. No, I know. <laughs> Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? I feel like that's from the Clone Wars. I know. <laughs> Things we haven't seen yet. In the last season, maybe. I can't accept. I didn't finish the job. Well, it's mine now. This belongs with the Mandalorian. Hmm. I cannot train him. Oh. You made me a promise, and I held up my end. Go to the planet Tython. There you will find the ancient ruins of a temple that has a strong connection to the Force. <gasps> Place Grogu on the seeing stone at the top of the mountain. Then what? Then Grogu may choose his path. <gasps> There's a chance a Jedi may sense his presence. I'm <gasps> searching for him. Oh my gosh. There aren't many Jedi left. Oh. May the Force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so cool to see her. Wow. David Filoni. Mm-hmm. Or Dave Filoni. Ah, this was the best episode uh either season like it was so cool to see ahsoka uh in live action now i'm pretty sure like that the interaction that we had there at the the town was probably having to do with the last season of clone wars which we currently haven't seen yet we're on season six so a few episodes left of season six mm -hmm. so we're gonna get there um yeah. and i'll probably have to make the connections that we would have made in the yeah, show yeah. in the clone wars be like oh yeah. that's who this is that's who this is this was so cool to see grogu he has a name grogu and he like responded he was, like, i know Bad? his ears all perched up when and, like he's yeah. Yeah. and we found out that he was raised at the Jedi Temple. He was being trained. Because he was, okay, so I keep forgetting he's like 50. <laughs> yeah. So of course he would have been, you know, old enough. It's, it's so, kind of weird though because he's still like baby I, mm -hmm. and like he acts like baby, but she also said he's been hiding his, his abilities, mm -hmm. you know, to protect himself and like he's, he's just so full of like anger and fear and mm -hmm. stuff, you know. I wonder what Jedi rescued him from yeah, the Temple. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's going to come back. Mm -hmm. Like, who could it be? Yeah. And, what? like, why did they specifically rescue him? Was it just yeah. that was the only one they could get? You know? Mm-hmm. Because I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think about it, all the Jedi that we know. Because he, would he have been a youngling? He would Anakin? have been a youngling. So, so he's he 15. Get... I think this is roughly 35 years after that happened. So he would have been around 15. Like, at the time. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're doing the math, yeah. I think I think this is, like, five years after the fall of the Empire. Yeah. And that whole sequence of events, like, Return so of the Jedi, he... I think it was around 30 years after, like, Anakin flipped and became Darth Vader. I wonder if so. he saw the younglings get killed in oh front of him. Oh, my gosh. Can you if they ever, like, show that, like, could you imagine, like, him, like, getting, a, like, getting taken away from the Jedi Temple? <laughs> but they had to have rescued him for a reason, though. And I, ha I feel like it has to do with, like, you know, his abilities, too. Yeah. Like... Uh, Ahsoka said it too. There's only Yoda that we know yeah. of that we've seen before. Actually, you know what? There was another. They yeah. never referenced it. I, in yeah. re in the Phantom Menace, there was another species of Yoda sitting yeah. on like the Jedi Council. But they may have retconned that because they never re referenced that uh, character again. Yeah. It was just kind of like it was just a character yeah. sitting there. Um, but I'm just so excited. Uh, I hope that this isn't the last of Ahsoka that we see. I hope that yeah. we see her again a little bit later on. It was so amazing. It was so cool to see her like just kick ass and. You know, even when, like, 
the small little things when she flipped her lightsaber like this and yeah. like have it this way that's how she always fought in the clone wars too i always like loved her fighting style in the clone wars so just to see like those little like um those little uh head nods to er those little references of the clone wars was so cool yeah and also i completely forgot about like the whole jedi don't have attachments thing mm -hmm. Because it's like, she was talking about, oh, he's really attached to you. Yeah. I'm not going to train him. That's dangerous. We all know what happened oh to Anakin gosh, with that his was, attachments. That, like, hint at Anakin was just like, oh, my yeah. God. I got, like, chills when she said that. But what if this is, like, a new age and he does have an attachment and he's going to be trained as a Jedi? What is that going to mean, yeah. you know? Like, is that going to be better? Is that well, going to be worse? Was the whole attachment thing really a detriment in the yeah. grand scheme of things? I don't know. I wonder, like, I know this is going to be really hard to even do this, but, you know, this is obvious, obviously after Return of the Jedi. Luke went off training people in Je like to become Jedis after that, and then obviously the whole thing with uh, Kylo ended up falling out. Um, but I wonder if there's going to be any reference to that. Like, she said, like, you know, if a Jedi might seek him out. But, like, the only ones I could think of is Luke out there. But Luke, obviously, the character Mark Hamill's older now. So it's kind of be yeah. hard to, like, put him in that, that same role. Yeah. I'm, like, um, I'm trying to think of if there would be anyone else out there. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it would be someone we didn't see yet in the Clone Wars. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Or somebody from the Clone Wars, like, one of the original Jedi who maybe got away. Uh, and then, like, we just never saw them again. Yeah. That's, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. What if Grogu has to go get a kyber crystal? Oh, my god! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh get, a get a little lightsaber light like Yoda had. <laughs> I really hope that happens. Oh my gosh, yes. That'd be so cool to see. Oh man, I'm so excited for like the possibilities. Like this mm -hmm. has been like the best like Star Wars story oh. I've seen in so, so long. I mean, like, Clone Wars, yeah. I mean, Clone Wars, yeah. I mean, like live action, I should say. Like yeah. this like tops any one of the new movies in my mind. This one episode topped the three movies in my opinion. Like... It's just it's just so well done. Like I say this every yeah. every episode, but like this is what I feel like Star Wars fans have been like craving and like wanting to see from like a continuation of Star Wars. And like it isn't just like there's some fan service, but it like serves a point. Like you yeah, know they reference it makes some sense. yeah. Whereas like you know some things in like you know the newer trilogy, it was just kind of like it seemed like they were just doing it just to do it. But I, mean, I still enjoyed it. Like I still enjoy those Star Wars movies. It's just when you compare them to like you know the the original ones and then even like honestly the prequels i feel like the prequels for me have aged a little bit better than when they when i first saw them i mean when i first saw them i was like a kid and then like i started to like think like okay well they're not as good as like the original ones just because you know i saw them as a kid with like all oh, the the new cgi and everything i was like oh my gosh this is so cool um but you know i feel like you got older you're like okay i was like these aren't as good as the original ones at all but They've grown on me. And then when we started to watch Clone Wars, it just tied it all together. And I just, like, really appreciate, like, the... I really appreciate the original ones, but I also really appreciate Clone Wars even more so than them. And um, I'm just, like, so excited to see, like, what else they do with this show and any other Star Wars series that they ended up making on Disney+. Plus Because as long as John Favreau's overseeing mm -hmm. it and, like, he's at least and picking Dave the people... Involved, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like this is Gosh. just, like, the, the sky's the limit on what yeah. they can do. Also, I, I think on that, too, it's like, this isn't just, oh, I'm going to throw out a name just to get people excited, because fan service, like, they're, it's, it's a continuation, almost, of mm. the Clone Wars in some of these aspects, too, um, and just continuation of storylines, not just necessarily from Clone Wars, but it's like, there, there's a purpose for this, and they're continuing down the path, um, Instead of just like throwing out a name or like looking at this random object, yeah, because like, like ah, yeah, look let's at make that. Ray Palpatine's yeah, granddaughter. Like, <laughs> yeah, <I'm that. laughs> all right. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon where we have full length reactions as well as other exclusive content. The full length reaction to this season of The Mandalorian, as well as our Clone Wars, is going to be over there right now. So, if you want to check that out, the link's down in the description below. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.